Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies, and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's good? So we're going to continue on with the series of top 10 category teams based on uh, Kairi Lu 2 and Trash Guy Bob. So this, of course, is the Siblings Bond and Goku's Family category setup. And the way the rotations are going to work is for one of the rotations, you'll have LR Gohan and Goten with the Tech Super Saiyan God Goku unit. The other rotation is going to have the other LR Gohan and Goten with the uh, strength type uh, EZA Super Saiyan Goten unit. So that is pretty much the structure with that. And I assume because uh, along with Lynx, uh, those other two guys have the ability to convert the um, the key into rainbow type. So I assume that's helping out in terms of LR Gohan and Goten being able to get that 18 key super, which I would imagine. Now, I didn't, you know, do a thorough analysis on, you know, the list or, you know, the category setup or anything, but that's, that's pretty much my guess. But Let's go ahead and talk about all the units included. So of course the highlight is LR Gohan and Goten. Of course you guys know that these guys are the siblings bond category. Lead for key plus four attack increases 170%, HP and defense increase of 150%. Now for Goku's family, which is a secondary category lead, key plus three attack increase of 170% and then HP and defense increase of 130%. So super attacks greatly raise attack for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy. For the 18 key super, you're looking at greatly raise attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. The passive skill, so of course this is kind of like started um, at after a point where some of the passives already built up, but attack and defense increase of 58%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Key plus one and attack and defense increase of 10% with each attack performed. Key up to five and then attack and defense up to 100%. Disables Rampage not really relevant here, but uh, that's kind of the passive setup. Now the active skill is massively raises attack temporarily and causes an ultimate damage to enemy can be activated when HP is 59% or less and facing only one enemy starting from the third turn from the start of battle. All right, so let's move on to some of the other units. So. LR Gohan, uh, the intelligence LR Gohan, is going to be one of the floater units along with the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the uh, Movie Heroes uh, Super Saiyan Gohan unit. So for LR Gohan, I don't really need to cover that. Uh, obviously, this guy is a pretty good unit still to this day, and, and probably what you know the the whole concept of this is basically uh, the hardest hitting units on on the team setup. You know, the category team. So that's pretty much. What I assume is one of the main reasons why that unit's included. The Super Saiyan Gohan unit, the physical type, I assume which is mainly for the passive skill support. Movie heroes category get uh, key plus two, attack and defense of 40%, and then attack and defense increase of 100% when there is a movie boss category enemy. So uh, from a standpoint as a floater, I assume it's included because of the attack and defense increase of 40% along with the uh, key boost for you know mainly the uh, LR Gohan and Goten unit. Now moving on to the Tech Super Saiyan God Goku unit, of course this guy does uh, pretty good as a standalone unit, but randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key. Um, that's pretty much what I assume is the reason why this guy's linked up with LR Gohan and Goten. And, and you know the guys uh, that created this list, correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this, but that's pretty much what I'm thinking is it's mainly the reasoning behind the linkage. And of course the links, you know, they're, I'm, I'm sure they link pretty well together. Um, I'm looking over the link set and it looks like, you know, they do have a fair amount of links um, to where it's, it's okay. It's not the best, but it, it'll do basically is probably the best way to put it. Moving on to the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku unit. Of course, this is one of the hardest hitting units as well. So within the category, I assume this guy's included as a floater because of the ability to heavy hit, you know, obviously has a medium chance to evade enemy super attacks and whatnot. So that's pretty much my assumption behind why this unit's included. <clears throat> and then lastly, the uh, Extreme Z Awakened Strength Type Super Saiyan Goten unit. And of course, this guy also has the ability to change physical type key to rainbow key along with getting an attack and defense increase to 70%. Again, I assume this guy's included and linked up with the LR Gohan and Goten unit because of the ability to change uh, type key spheres into rainbow types to make it a little bit easier for the uh, LR unit to be able to get that 18 key super attack along with links, uh, fairly, you know, fairly good links with the, um, the other unit. Uh, that's pretty much where I think uh, the placement is going with that. So 
that is pretty much the entire team setup and as you can see again the floaters are going to be LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Gohan and the movie heroes Super Saiyan Gohan which is kind of funny to think about that uh, this list actually recommends that two of the LRs that are pretty decent heavy hitters are actually serving as floaters but um, in the grand scheme of things I, I'm thinking LR Gohan and Goten do provide uh, overall more in damage so that's probably where things stand at this point with that now one of the things I do want to mention is with this particular setup and against this type of event I will say that Super Saiyan, Go Super Saiyan Goten or Kid Goten and the Super Saiyan God Goku unit they definitely do take some decent hits so that's a little bit of a liability issue obviously you can mitigate that damage with item usage and whatnot but uh, that's certainly something that I noticed seeing this when when uh, testing these units out and it does seem like you know on, on certain situations they can be a little bit of a liability of course you know Goten's getting a 70% uh, increase to defense along with the attack and then uh, Super Saiyan God Goku let's take a quick look he also gets a decent enough boost attack and defense increase of 100% so it's not like they're really lackluster in terms of a defensive passive boost but again I did come across some situations where uh, these guys were getting some decent hits taken so that's probably the only thing I see with that but again this list is purely based off of the attack return standpoint so it's 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 not you know it's, that's really what it comes down to is based on maximizing the attack return so it's not really necessarily from a functional standpoint or practical standpoint it's purely from a calculation standpoint what's the overall best setup so that's pretty much what defines the rotations here <clears throat> excuse me in terms of how the teams are uh, or how the unit rotations are set up that's pretty much the deal so again this is based on APT not anything else that's purely what it comes down to but overall I mean I, I think it's still a pretty solid uh, functioning team a again I can definitely see Kid Goten and, and Super Saiyan God Goku being a little bit of a liability um, on more difficult events even as a floater I could certainly see the physical type Super Saiyan Gohan is a, a little bit of a liability as well depending on the type of enemies you fight but as long as they're able to make it through the rounds and if you do have to mitigate it with items um, as you're seeing as such because a lot of attacks are coming from tech perfect cell you know that's certainly uh, what you need to do in this case but I think overall I mean it's, it's a solid enough team to where it's you know you could you could certainly run it on several types of events now the legendary Goku event I could see some some issues coming up with that because again on that particular event a lot of the units that benefit from that type of type of battle are defense stacking units and the fact that uh, you don't really have one that continuously stacks defense on this team could serve as a little bit of a liability but um, other than that I mean it's, it's a it's a it's definitely a, a well-functioning team enough to where you know it runs just fine so that's probably my assessment of it and you know again LR Gohan and Goten are very very good units I mean they're phenomenal with you know uh, even one dupe these guys are very very good um, I would imagine with one dupe you probably aren't getting their full potential honestly with you know without the potential levels toward additional attacks and crits but uh, just with one dupe I imagine these guys are extremely good and you can see that throughout this video how good these units actually are so they're pretty much you know the uh, the key uh, home run derby hitters of the of the team basically and and you do have the second hardest hitter calculated as the LR Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku unit which I find funny because at the same time this guy's serving as a floater so again this is a purely based on an APT standpoint and you know I certainly appreciate those guys creating the list I'm sure a lot of you know calculations and thinking and thought process to come up and derive the list probably took place so certainly shout out to uh, Karelu 2 and uh, Trash Guy Bob for coming up with the list and uh, greatly appreciate it so again this is the uh, siblings bond Goku's family category team set up the hardest hitting units within that category so hopefully enjoy the video as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later all right peace out